Why do predators build pyramids? These large structures are part of the Yautra society. This type of architecture is seen on Earth and is linked to the human civilizations of Egyptians, Cambodians, Mayans, and the Aztecs. According to the story of the Alien vs. Predator movie, when the Yautra visited Earth, they taught the humans how to construct pyramids, and under their direction, these massive structures were built. The pyramids serve many purposes, such as being used for habitation, hunting grounds during a rite of passage, and also as a breeding site for the xenomorph species. Some pyramids even served as a tomb. This was to honor particular Yauchua who died from natural causes or in battle, and as a result of this, some statues, carvings, or memorabilia is shaped in their image. The pyramids were considered to be part of their religious beliefs or held a spiritual significance for the Yauchua. Even some structures on other planets were seen to be made of stone, but not all of them were made in the shape of pyramids. They were constructed mostly of stone, and some decorations or carvings could be seen on many walls, floors, and ceilings, possibly telling the story of that pyramid, or maybe the connection predators had with the species on that planet. Some pyramids will even contain images of the xenomorphs, also known as serpents. They are considered to be the ultimate prey in the galaxy. Some pyramids on Earth were seen to have carvings and symbols that explain how the predators bred the xenomorphs for thousands of years. There is a section of the pyramid that is also meant to contain the queen alien with advanced machinery. She is kept in stasis until the predators return during a rite of passage. Their plasma caster weapons are kept inside a sarcophagus, which is to be their prize in surviving the hunt. A room full of skulls can be found, which are the victims that died long ago. These pyramids have multiple chambers, passages, and shifting walls that create or block off exits. This structure is meant to best suit the xenomorph's abilities, being designed with smooth walls and enclosed passages that encourage everyone to rely on close-range combat. Another room was called the Sacrificial Chamber, where humans would give their lives to become hosts for the xenomorphs. One of the pyramids that holds a lot of importance and history to the Yauchua is the one on BG-386. It contains the body of Lord Predator, who was the first Yauchua to ever successfully hunt the xenomorphs. Alongside him lays the body of the first ever Queen Alien of the xenomorph species. She was captured by the Yauchua of that time and was entombed alongside Lord Predator's body in the temple. His biomask was also kept in a secret location. It contained holographic images of special ceremonies. One image is when Lord Predator defeats a xenomorph. The other image shows a group of Yauchua who captured a queen alien. Now in the event of the predators failing during their rite of passage, they would activate their self-destruct device and destroy all the xenomorphs along with civilization in that area. This is the reason why humanity has very little information about ancient practices. Since this structure is designed for Yauchua and xenomorphs, there are areas that are easily accessible to both of these species. Some doors would be locked and can only be opened with the wrist blades. The entire pyramid was powered by generators located at the lower levels. This would provide energy to run the machinery that contained the queen alien and operated the shifting walls. The Yauchua pyramids and the story behind them has always been a very interesting topic for me. It's a way of the Yauchua recording their history in stone for future beings to find, similar to what is seen now in modern history. Now if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content around the Predator universe, then subscribe to my channel and enable notifications. I also have a Patreon page if you want to support my channel directly. Thanks for watching. My name is Acid Glow, and I'll see you in the next video.